I'm the type of friend that's gonna celebrate your successes. I want to see you succeed in life. I want you to see you scale. I want all my boys to be eating so much so that I want to see your numbers going up, legit. I want to see that those numbers in your bank account just start to roll higher and higher. And to do so, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to show you exactly what I do and the stuff that I believe every dude should be doing to double your money and then double it again and then double it again. Today, I'm going to show you boys how to do just that. Let's hop into it. Number one, take risk. If you're not willing to stomach a little bit of risk, Nothing I talk to you about on this list, it's gonna make you money. The reason a lot of rich people are on top, for the most part, is because they are able to stomach risks that most people, it would just make them sick. Most people wouldn't be able to, to be do that. For example, have you ever heard the story of Elon Musk? If you haven't, well, I'm gonna give you a short synopsis, very small. He sold PayPal, I think he got like $160 million for his share of the company. See, most people would be comfortable with $160 million. Matter of fact, with $160 million, you could live your entire life like a king and chances are you'd probably never waste all that money. He didn't do that. What did he do? He grabbed all 160 million. I think he dumped 100 million in Tesla and another 60 million in his and another company called SpaceX. This was about 20 years ago, and now he was left with nothing. He was borderline going bankrupt trying to build two new companies, but he was able to stomach risk. 160 million dollars of risk. And needless to say, it paid off. The man's worth over 180 billion dollars and he's doubled his money. I don't even know how much at this point. The point is, you need to be able to stomach risk. Which takes us on to number two. Now that we understand risk taking, obviously none of us are investing $160 million, but you could invest what you already have. Say you have $1,000 saved up in your bank account. If you were to grab that and invest it into a mutual fund, or an ETF, instead of letting it sit into your bank account, these ETFs, let's say, pay about 10% annually. In about seven years, you would have doubled your money. Now you have $2,000 in your bank account and you didn't even lift a finger. You did nothing, no work whatsoever. Let's say you upped the ante. Imagine if you could invest a thousand a month and let's say you were able to live below your means. Meaning let's say you have a salary of $50,000 a year. Let's say you invest 12,000 a year, which means you live off of only 38,000. So that means you're investing a thousand bucks every month. Within 15 years, you would have invested or saved $190,000. But because it's compounding and you got that 10% interest, you have a total of $440,000. You basically have a half a million dollar net worth in 15 years. You have to invest. Which takes us on to number three, learn a new skill. Let's say you don't want to wait seven years or 15 years to, to double your money. Then you're going to have to learn a new skill. Now to learn this skill and deploy it, chances are you're going to have to invest it. So let's take something simple. Let's say um, photography. Everybody can do photography, right? Let's say you were to invest $100 in courses to learn how to become a photographer. You also invested another $100 in your website, let's say. So you, that's, let's say you only have a thousand, so that's $200, you have $800 left. Let's say you spend $600 in equipment. You need a good camera and gear and what, what not. And let's say you use the, the other $200 for Facebook ads to promote your new business. So you've now invested a thousand dollars into your photography skill. Do you know how fast you could probably double that into $2,000? What you need to understand about doubling your money is that it only starts flowing in once you start providing some sort of value. At this, for this example, your value is photography. You're good at pictures. Now, to be valuable, you'll have to offer some sort of solution, some skill set, something you're good at. I know what you're thinking, Jose. I'm not good at anything, bro. That is not an excuse. Today, with with so much content online, you could become a pro at literally anything. And if you need actual professional help, how many times have I told you about our sponsor Skillshare? Yo, it is in the name. Skillshare will literally teach you almost any skill you can think of across the board within arts, music design, photography, film, marketing, almost any type of category you can think of. Our sponsor Skillshare probably has a professional class taught by a professional in that industry where you could be learning firsthand. There is no excuse whatsoever. And with their annual memberships, you'll be paying less than 10 bucks a month. That is what, two cups of coffee to invest in yourself? 
There is absolutely no excuse to learn something new today. Now, what I love about Skillshare is that it's an online community of creators, creators like you, creators like me, that are in the pursuit of learning more. So it's like you're in the right mindset and with the right type of people. Moreover, since it's a community made for learning, there's no ads, so there's no interruptions. You, When you get into a class, you're gonna see how many members are in that class, and you can follow along and learn with other creators. I'm gonna give you a great example. For example, let's say you like YouTube, you wanted to become a YouTuber. YouTube is a hard business, it takes a lot of work. What if you can learn from a top YouTuber himself? There's a specific class that just dropped on Skill Skillshare by MKBHD. If you've ever seen him, the guy's like a tech guru. He's massive. That shows you. It's called YouTube Success: How to Shoot, Edit, and Record Basically YouTube Videos. And they and he shows you step by step what he's done, what took him to his success, and that you can learn from. This is what I'm talking about. They have all the resources and you have no excuse. See, the first thousand people, the first thousand of you that want to take action now and start doubling their net worth, if you guys click the link down below and sign up, the first thousand of you are gonna get a free premium membership, which means you get access to all classes, including the new one that I just talked about, and start consuming all these skills absolutely free, risk-free. Like, there is no excuse, and if you want to take action right now, like I said, it's only the first thousand, so if I were you, I'd click that link down below. This takes us on to number four, and it's called scaling. See, you need to start understanding. It gets to a point that you can no longer trade your time for money because th that's only going to take you so far. Take the photography example, right? Let's say you took that route. The most you could probably scale that to would be taking your money to around 50 to 100,000 if you become like an, a crazy beast photographer with a bunch of clients. But that's pretty much your cap. So if you want to start doubling your money past that 100K, you need to learn how to scale. For example, say you were to grab one of your friends. Let's say, I don't know, he's doing some job for minimum wage for eight bucks an hour. You could probably pay him a little better and even more, you'd give him a camera gear because now you have the funding for it. You have more list of clients that he can bring in. You can use your Facebook marketing to bring in more clients. Now you have a second head of hands. You have more time that you can use to deploy to reach more clients. Now that initial investment of a thousand can become two thousand, then four thousand, then five thousand, then ten thousand, and you continue to double on top of what you have, and now you're scaling. Now you're thinking like a businessman. The point is, once you really start doubling your money, it's gonna get to a point that you need to start thinking about, all right, if I wanna continue to double my money, you can no longer think that you can only make money by trading your own time. You need to start thinking about how you can start scaling it, which takes us Ultimately, to the fifth thing, is that you have to think of this like a game. Every single time you want to double your money, you have to think outside the box. So think about it as levels, right? So let's say you had an initial investment of a thousand. To get from one to two thousand, that was level one. It was probably pretty easy. From two to four, level two, it's also pretty easy. And it's so on, right? Two to, from four to eight, eight to sixteen, sixteen to thirty-two, each level gets harder and harder and harder. I do. I see it the same way with business, right? My first level was 100K, then it was 1M, then it was 10M, and now I'm on that 100M. And now, my next, after that, the next level will be 1B, which I've talked about this multiple times, and each level required me to become a different person. Think outside the box, get more creative, get craftier, and that is the beauty of it. That's how you need to start thinking about doubling your money. Every single level requires a more difficult approach that's gonna require you to evolve and change and learn. It is no different than levels to a video game. Level one is easy, level two is cake work, level seven you can still accomplish, level 10, you're probably looking up cheat codes, you're probably perfecting your craft. That's how you need to look at it. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five things you can do to start doubling your money. That's it for me today, boys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Skillshare. They'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.